what is this? <laughs> Those vlogs. <laughs> To uh, what is yeah biggest game biggest day in Bristol Flyers history. Uh, we're going to be on our way to Arena Birmingham soon for the BBL Cup final between Bristol Flyers and uh, Worcester Wolves. It's going to be it's going to be a big big game. Some big big players. Nine thousand crowd expected at the Arena Birmingham. So I'm off soon with best mate Tom his girlfriend Sophie, mate Kyle and Tracy and Pete who are uh, Tom's parents. So Tom and Sophie are season ticket holders this season. Uh, I think they've been to pretty much every game. I'm not sure if they've missed one. Like well, every home game anyway. I'd say like Kyle is a social media supporter so he just follows via media and uh, and so on but uh, I'm not sure if this is his first game <laughs> of the season today. So uh, yeah that's good. So and uh, Tracy and Pete who have uh, been to a few games in the past but yeah they're very much looking forward to today's game as well. I am Billy East as you might know, B.E.S. Photography, uh, so I take photos at most, uh, most home games. I just do it sort of as a hobby and do it as much as I can, both sort of basketball and football, but I try and do cover more sports as well. Love for flyers, my love for photography, join them both together and uh, yeah, I do quite a lot, but today is different. I'm doing a vlog, match day vlog for the club and then um, hopefully sort of further down the line, I'll be putting it onto my YouTube channel. Very much looking forward to today. I'm nervous because of the game today, but I'm nervous as well because I've never done anything like this before, no sort of vlogging. Just been too scared in the past to put my face in front of a camera because I'm usually uh, behind it. Today should be good and I'm confident that we're going to win even though it's, I think it's going to be a tight tight game because Worcester are a great team as well but uh, yeah I think we're going to win this. Yeah on our way soon next clip should be in the car. Cheers. I'm here with Billy. He's going to tell me about his journey bag. All right here's my journey bag. So on the edge, edge of these bags I've got um, to like handle things. So it's got one more. Bottle. Journey war. Yeah, journey war. Well, I might save it until we're there, so it might not be journey war. So go on, have a journey, journey war. Journey war. A, a, a journey war. All right, open up the bag. So this is the big pocket. So I've got notes full of vlog. Journey notes. Uh, yeah. Journey notes. Journey notes. I've got, we got a big horn. Oh, this how's that bit. sound then, Bill? It uh, sounds a bit like give it, Give us a tune, Bill. <laughs> very loud, very loud. It might be brilliant. <laughs> Impressive stuff from Billy. I think it's broken. We, we have to buy a new one when we're there. Uh, so I've got a selfie stick here. And it uh, you can get it out like that. Ping it out like that. And then you do that so that it can fit your phone in. Oh, nice! It's a very and small you, phone. And, and you can twist it around like that so you can do landscape. Wow. I've been told specifically today that it's got to be hey, landscape. Hey, me! Hey! Hey! Right, I've got a sharpie. I'm not sure why, but I got a sharpie. If anyone wants to sign anything, got a sharpie. Top man. Got a GoPro just in case. Is a hero. Got to film that shit. Yeah, but we've got all our uh, camera needs right here, so it's all right. So, oh yeah, and I got a pen. pen. Never know when you're gonna need that. In here, I've got. Phone charger. Not Whoa. sure where we can charge it, but yeah, phone charger. Uh, got paracetamols. Druggy. Yep. So yeah, that's my bag. This was Billy's journey bag. Yeah. So as soon as we're stuck in traffic, we're going to talk about a game. Um, I think Flyers have a good chance, especially when they beat Worcester, I think it was 81 to 66 last time they played. I think there was a match-up between G, Gentry, and well, Worcester players. I don't know his name. Should be a pretty good one. Depends who gets in the paint, personally, with Daniel Dozy. Uh, 
Dad, have you ever been to a basketball game in your life? Yes. Do you know what happens? Yes. Play with the ball and chuck it in the hoops <laughs> with nets on. Do they have to be tall? To score points. No, but it helps. Usually above six foot is pretty good. <laughs> Mostly with long arms, that helps even more. You know, if you're five foot two and you're like trying to score a hoop against a bloke who's over six foot, you don't think you've got much chance. I don't know, I do pretty well against Bill and Bill's taller than me. Yeah, by about an inch I expect. Every, every, every little helps, as Tesco say. <laughs> <laughs> do you play Tesco's? <laughs> what, what the hell? What are you doing? Oh, he's, he's lost the, he's lost the plot. <laughs> So this is this is an interview one in the car with Billy. Go. Um, so you excited about the game, Bill? Yeah, really excited. I think um, Flyers are uh, ready for this. I think they've been ready for a long time, and um, there's a lot of hype behind this game. We're all hyped, um, so it's it's hard to like calm down. Um, but yeah, I think Worcester are a good team. Um, I'm not sure who their players are, but <laughs> but they have got a good. I think they got a good team, so it's going to be a very even game throughout. Um, but I just think Flyers have just got to get off the mark with ten points, sort of thing, to to get in the lead straight away. Andreas has been with this team for so long, so tactically we should be fine. Yeah, I just think the players have just got to step up. Try not to be too nervous, because a lot some of the players haven't played in front of like this bigger crowd but then we have got some of the American players that have played college level so um, so yeah I think uh, but I think yeah I think we're good to go it's Bristol's first opportunity since the creation of the team um, in 15 years <laughs> that they've got to a major trophy final do you reckon they'll be ready for the big occasion yeah I think they're, I think they're more than ready because we've I think we've been doing well this season like maybe in the league it's been a bit touch and go but I think in cup competitions like we're in the semi-final of the trophy as well um, so we've got plenty of plenty going for us this season so and I think there seems to be a lot more togetherness as well this season so I think um, yeah I think we're good I think we're good to go we're on our, we're on our way to uh, the Flyers Bleed <laughs> now! Bleed now! We don't know where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get out? Help! <laughs> oh, it's raining. It's raining. That's the unsociables. <laughs> How are you feeling? Yeah, Pre game. Nervous, mate? Yeah, exactly. How are you feeling, Bert? Confident, we're going to do that. He's had a long journey himself, hasn't he? He's done Commonwealth. Yeah. Done great, Brent. Commonwealth and all that. So Pete, how was your food at Sogolet? Yeah, not yeah. not fantastic. Um, so like, you know, some fried chicken sandwiches, some fried chicken sandwiches. <laughs> Could have done with a bit of chili on it, maybe. Yeah. But, you know, one little dollop of mayo in the middle. Could have been a bit more. Okay. Tomatoes weren't as fresh as they could have been. You know, don't want to be too critical, you know. Uh, yeah. Eight pounds for a sandwich. <laughs> Just could have been better. <laughs> better. Yeah. So, better. what's your feelings on the game then? Oh, oh, my feelings on the game. Yeah. I have no idea, Bill. All I'm right. No, but not really. Um, you hoping obviously Flyers are going to win? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Flyers have got to win. Flyers will win. Thank you very much, Pete. No worries, Bill. <laughs> so, 
Oh, how was your food? It's all right, mate. Yeah, the uh, sauce was very nice. A lot of bread was very good. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate that. Lasagna was good. Shame it came with cucumbers. Disappointed, disappointed, but it's very disappointed. So, Cook Zero is good though. Yeah. You're wrong with a good old Cook Zero. Yeah. So, about 10 out of 10 on that. Okay. So, 10 out of 10 on drink, 7 out of food to drink. Yeah, unfortunately. Cucumber, like, good enough for me. Good, good. <laughs> that was a beautiful play for no points. Straight down the middle up for no points. Betsy. Gets it back. Betsy with a crossover. Off the window for two. Beautiful basketball. T-shirts, and then we've got a few Flyers fans, Central or the other side. We did have uh, Points West. Alistair Durden was down there, but he seems to have disappeared. We probably will be back ready for game. Um, yeah, so we're ready for tip-off. Might not be able to see, but it's 31 minutes till tip-off here before we start. Flyers doing their pre match warm ups.
Welcome here at the Arena Birmingham. And, uh, yeah, almost time for tip off. I'm excited for this one. Already losing my voice. Let's go. The first and uh, the second quarter is just uh, due to start. It's a four point game at the moment. Flyers are with 12, Worcester with 16. It's a close game. Come on, man! The end of the second corner is half time and fires are down by nine points at the moment. There's uh, so it's uh, 25 34, and um, yeah, so Flyers got a bit of work to do in the second half, but hopefully, they can get back into this one. Um, yeah, I need to get back to my seat now. Cheers.
point game with four and a half minutes to go. Flyers are six points down. Still got work to do. That's a point. So thank you very much uh, for watching, if anyone did, and um, <laughs> and uh, see you soon. Maybe I'll do some more of this in the future. Thank you very much.